Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Alright, so let's get right to it. The first thing I'm going to do with this image, well, before I even go on to that, have you guys seen the behind the scenes for this photo shoot? Alright, so let's get right to the editing now. First thing I'm going to do is to crop this image because I love to crop my image. My image is going to be cropped at a 5 to, well, 4 to 5 ratio, which is an 8 by 10 in inches. So when I upload it to Instagram, it fills the entire page. All right, so you click on the crop tool right here and then you click on four to five uh, ratio right there, good. And then you, I think I'm okay with that crop right there. Or maybe I need to bring it up a little bit more. Who knows, right that, good. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is to create a duplicate. And then I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Well, not a little bit, way in. And I'm going to be removing all the blemishes uh, from the skin. So I'm going to press J on the keyboard for the patch tool because the patch tool is what I like using. And I'm just going to remove everything that I don't want from the model skin. Oh, another tip as well. When you're doing bikini shoots, you could ask the model not to wear any deodorant. If she's going to wear it, ensure that it's... Uh, um, I don't want to say clear deodorant i don't remember the, the word yeah <laughs> but you have some deodorant that you know isn't white so it's best to use those i just don't use any just shave your arm and just don't use any yeah so just removing all the blemishes real quick i don't want this to be a long video because all my videos are long so yeah, don't want them to be long. Alright. Just like that. Good. And make sure you guys go and watch the behind the scenes. Trust me, it's one of my best behind the scenes since forever. <laughs> Alright. Good. I think I need to do more of these behind the scenes. All right, so I think I'm okay with removing the blemishes from the model's skin. Don't think there's anything else I want to remove. Should I remove this tattoo? Let me see if I can remove it. Yes, I can. All right, so the next step now is to do frequency separation. I'm just gonna come over here to my frequency separation action. I am going to use the radius three all right and then i'm going to go down to the low frequency layer and then i'm going to come over here to my mixer brush because i took my mixer brush out and the mixer brush settings wet is 30 load sorry is 75 mix is 90 flow is a <clears throat> sorry flow is 100 all right so yeah let's get right to it so i'm going to zoom up the image a little bit uh right now and then I'm just going to brush so the aim is to blend the skin out basically like that I'm wondering if three is too much hmm uh, I'm gonna try six, see what it looks like. So frequent separation again, 6.4. I'm gonna leave it at 6.4 and see what it looks like. Cause I want the skin to look as re realistic as, as, as best as possible. So I think I like six more. So what I'm doing, I'm taking the bright area, I'm mixing from the bright area to the dark area to lighten up the dark areas, basically. All right. I don't even know where I start with the arm. I should actually start with the model's face, but yeah. I still have to work on the arm either way, so I guess, yeah. So all I'm doing is mixing from the light area to the dark area so I can brighten up the skin. Sometimes when this happens, 
the skin looks dark when you do not light the subject or when the light is not powerful enough you know which is always good to use like a soft box where you can spread the light um, evenly right I'm gonna do the face now same doing the same thing from the bright to the dark here just to blend it out bridge side of the nose under the eye okay I think I may have to use the what do they call this again the patch tool to remove some more stuff I'm gonna go to the high frequency layer and remove some more blemishes and spots. All right, that looks good. Don't think I need to do anything else. So these are moles, beauty spots, so I don't need to remove those. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the freaking separation again, and then I'm gonna do the chest. Let me see, before and after, good. Sometimes when you're using a mixer brush, you might think that nothing is happening, but trust me, <laughs> it's doing something. The shadow under her neck is a result of where the flash was. It was above her head, so when the light comes down, it casts it cause a shadow or casts a shadow under her neck. So yeah, I don't mind it at all. Let me go back to the high frequency layer again and get my patch tool and just get rid of this right here. Just smooth it out. So, before, after. Alright, good. Sometimes it's good for you to zoom in so you can remove um, some smaller blemishes from the skin. Alright, so let me go out and then do some more frequency separation. Sometimes it's best for you to create a new frequency separation um, action each time you're doing a different section of the body. You know, just in case you may you may go overboard and you want to delete one of the layers. So, you know what? I'm going to do it now. So, I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to um, create a new layer first. And then delete this one. And then go to frequency separation. Again, I'm still going to use radius 6.4 and then I'm gonna do her belly so the aim is to always ensure that the image looks natural the aim is not to it's not to make your model skin look fake trust me it, I mean back in the days I used to do that but not anymore it's, it makes no sense to be honest so that looks as natural as possible to me so all i'm doing one straight line going down with the mixer brush one straight line going down and blend out everything one straight line going down most times we spend hours editing and we're trying to you know we're doing edits that makes the model look totally different from what they really look like like i'm not in for that anymore sometimes one image will take me like 20 minutes or less you know 
it all depends if I use the light or it's natural light. Yeah. I think I'm good with what I've done so far. All right, so that looks good. Let's look at before and after for everything. So I'm gonna come here, hold on on Alt or um, come on and Mac. Actually, no, that's not it. You know, it's actually Option. All right, so that is um, the before and that's the after. Before, after. All right, I think I have to make an adjustment right here. Um, let me see. right here I went too close so I have to create a mask now this is the original I have to bring the original to the top which is this one which is why it's best for you to do not do everything on one layer because trust me you're gonna make mistakes and you can't adjust it if you merge all the layers or do everything on one layer so i'm going to hold on on i think it's comma option good and then i'm just gonna paint back this section and get my brush brush flow is at 100 percent. i'm gonna put it at 72 percent for the flow and i'm just gonna brush right here Just like that. Good. Perfect. Now I'm going to get um, a new, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm just going to brush right here a little bit. So I'm going to press I on the keyboard for the eye drop tool. I'm going to sample right there. I'm going to press B on the keyboard for the brush and put my flow at 1%. And I'm just going to paint right here. Just trying to blend out everything, you know? Just a little bit. Alright, before, after. Uh, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Now I'm going to create a new layer. And then I'm going to use my patch tool and just blend it out a little bit more by just doing this. think I'm good with that I'm just gonna do another frequent separation again and just blend out everything so you have to delete um, the frequent separation action that you've created layer that you've created before to do another one because you're gonna have problems I don't know how to create it so it doesn't give problems <laughs> but yeah Let me just lower the opacity on this one a little bit. So, right there. Good. So, I'm done with that. Now, the next step is to do what now? I'm going to do some dodge and burning. So, I'm going to put everything in a folder or a group. I'm going to do dodge first. I'm going to click B on the keyboard for my brush. I'm still at 1% and I'm just going to lighten up some of the different areas like maybe right here where the light was hitting. some ears of the skin it's a little bit dark so I want to kind of lighten it up a little bit nose bridge chin forehead under the eye Alright, I think I want to do here as well, and here, so before, after, then do the arm, so 
anywhere that I see has light I'm just gonna apply some more to it and sometimes some sections of the skin that is dark you want to brighten it as well Alright, that looks good. Let me do right here as well. Nice. I could do some burning as well. Let me start with the face. It's gonna burn right here because I think it's too bright. Burn the side, 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 side. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. I'm gonna burn here, 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 there, maybe here as well. Um, maybe here and here and here ah so i think i'm done i'm gonna do some color grading now wait what's happening here i think i want to brighten here a little bit so i'm gonna go back down to the um dodge still on my brush gonna brighten here a little bit all right think i'm done now so i'm gonna do some color grading now so i'm gonna Create a new layer again. Then I'm gonna go to camera raw. Well, control J and create another one. Camera raw. And then I'm gonna press auto and see what auto looks like. Wow, I love what auto looks like. I think I'm gonna leave it on auto, but I'm just gonna make some adjustments here. So under color, um, under color mixer, let's see if I can get some blue in the sky a little bit. Just a little bit. Hmm. Let me just do. It. all right before and after and then i'm gonna change this to hsl and then play with the yellow uh, or maybe just green or maybe just a little bit the, the orange would adjust her skin just a little bit um let me go to um saturation and see if i could do some more green all right I'm gonna go to collaboration and play with the primary blue or blue primary a little bit let me see the green so it's always good for you to just go there and just play with the colors and see what you get I think I'm okay with that so I'm gonna press ok and then I'm just gonna add some blue in the shadows yeah and I'm done don't think there's anything else I need to do. I think I'm okay with what I've done so far. Uh, what's that right there? I'm gonna come down here to this layer here. Press J for the patch tool and remove this. Yeah, I think I am okay with what I've done so far. I mean, we could do some more neat and fine editing, but yeah, that is it for me. Don't think there's anything else I need to do. All right, so what I'm going to do next is just to add my watermark. I have a shortcut for my watermark, so I'm just going to get that. I'm just going to put it right... Where can I put this? Where can I put this? Right there? Yes, right there. And then to save it for Instagram, all you have to do is to go to File, Export, Save for Web. And then you come here and you're going to type in 1080. And automatically it will give you the height and then we're gonna save and I'm gonna save it to my Dropbox cuz I always save things to my Dropbox but now that I have a Mac I can always eardrop it to my um, what do you call it to my phone so I'm just gonna save it to my Dropbox personal projects July Gonna put it right there good so that is it for the retouch video 
still think I could make some adjustments right here. But all right, so that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You'll be getting more videos every Friday. I'm not going to be committed to a nine o'clock upload time, but every Friday you'll be getting a new video. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one. Bye bye.